Okay, I have a really great card effect to share with you. It's based on an effect created by Warner Miller, who I've featured on this channel before, and who has created hundreds of different card effects. Okay, so we have here the four royal families, clubs, diamonds, spades, and hearts. Now I need you to tell me how to gather these families of three. That one, and then hearts, diamonds, and then spades. Okay, very good. Now, since uh, the two of us saw the cards, why don't we go ahead and just give them a good mix. In fact, I can keep doing this until you tell me to stop. Stop there. Do you want these on top or bottom? Your choice, bottom. Okay, very good. And now what I need you to do is freely cut the cards wherever you would like. Okay, so if you're here, you could perform a random cut and then complete the cut, okay? And now from here, we're going to deal out the cards into uh, two piles, just like this, okay? So two piles of six cards each. So let's just take a look at this top card here is going to be the card of interest that we're shooting for, okay? So our goal now is to find the three other queens in this mess. In fact, to make it even harder for us, let's go ahead and move her over to the other pile and bury her underneath the remaining cards in that pile. And now we can go ahead and perform this. Oh, by the way, this is called the Charlier Shuffle. And I can add a link in the description below if you haven't seen this messy shuffle before. It's a great way to scramble the cards. So you tell me when to stop. Stop there, okay. Now, this is really, really important. I need you to randomly choose, but use your intuition, dig deep here, randomly choose a number between one and 11. It ends up that 12 won't be interesting, as you'll see, but <laughs> between one and 11. Okay, so what number would you like to go with? Um, since you're not here, I thought we would go ahead and just use a pair of dice. And so if it's 12, we'll roll it again. So let's go ahead and just roll this. Now, technically, we can't get one, <laughs> but that's okay. But in practice, you could actually choose the number one if you wanted, up through 11. Uh, looks like it came up seven, which is kind of a lucky number. But this truly can be any number between one and 11. Okay, so it came out to be seven. Okay, so let's see what that does for us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to count off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and move those to the bottom okay and now from here all we're going to do is deal out the cards into three piles kind of in a triangle configuration and what we're hoping is with the choices made along the way when to stop mixing the cards when you told me to stop and you performed at least one free random cut and you were even free to choose any number here between 1 and 11, and it came up 7. Let's see if you were able to find the four queens, which is what we hope to find. Let's just check this out. Oh, we got the queen of diamonds. Of course, the queen of clubs was our target card. Oh, the queen of spades. Oh, check that out. Queen of hearts. You did it. Just think about that. If you had cut the packet at some other location or told me to stop Charlier shuffling at some other point, or more importantly, if you had chosen a different number here between one and 11, this very likely would not have worked out. That is amazing. You must have lady luck smiling down upon you. What's that? You wanna see what's in the other? Okay, well, I doubt there's anything interesting here. Oh, okay, well, okay, yeah, that's fine. Two kings? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You were able to match up. How? Okay, this is for the record books here. You matched up all of the royalty. Oh boy, I need to be taking lessons from you to improve my card magic. Okay, well, if you just do what I did, uh, this will work for you every time. So just repeat the steps that I showed you. And when I had you freely cut, those were free cuts. When I had you freely choose a number between 1 and 11, that's a free choice. The only thing to be aware of is when early on, when I did left, right, left, right, left, right, if you remember, I turned over the top card on the left. Okay, that's our kind of goal or target card. Now that card 
actually needs to be moved to the other pile. And so I try to justify that by just saying, okay, this is going to make it even harder for us here because now we're going to bury that queen underneath all of these remaining cards, okay? So that step is essential. But if you perform that correctly and then do everything else I did, this is guaranteed to work for you every time. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.